Hello and welcome to your shadow talking chart. This is a wonderful tool to finally help you get to the absolute root cause of what is the roadblock between you and your ultimate flowering as a unique differentiated human being and that roadblock is your own mind seizing control of your life and stripping out every aspect of your uniqueness because the mind that you identify with as the decider in your life is an absolute imposter its job is not to make decisions for your life and if you allow it to make decisions for your life well you will be swept along in this program and you will have an illusion that you decide what you do in your life but that is very much an illusion the picture for this video is a very very apt metaphor for what is actually happening your mind is a puppet on the string it's coordinated by your own genes that are operating by very very different rules than actually serve you your genes are there to ensure that our species procreate in the way that is healthy for our species but is not healthy for you as an individual in terms of your own awakening now i won't go into the detail of that here because that's all part of this shadow talking chart but i would like to give you a quick overview as to how to utilize this information depending on your particular design this talking chart can run for more than four hours if you are a reflector for example given the number of gates that are there in the open centers for a reflector but certainly for most people the talking chart is going to run for well over two and a half hours so there is a lot of information that you can listen to in any order that you choose and you can of course replay these audios over and over again until you really grok this until you really get this and start noticing these aspects of your shadow that is pulling you in a direction that ultimately does not hold the source of your true fulfillment now this video that you are watching is always available you will see it up here on the right hand side of your shadow talking chart just click play whenever you want a reminder of any aspect of this chart and of course you can also full screen that here if you wish to now the shadow mind has many layers that you need to begin to start noticing you may already have some basic introduction to human design or you may already be deep into the process of learning about human design and what you will understand is that your mind is not making decisions based upon who you are it's making decisions based upon what you are not and in a typical foundation chart what you are not are all of the white centers in your design and in this shadow talking chart these white centers we've colored orange it's the kind of inverse of a foundation chart so that you can really see the points that you need to be paying attention to now if you wish you can start listening to these centers because these are the main aspect of what is corrupting your shadow mind any place that you have an open or undefined center that becomes part of the basis of your decision making hierarchy and what we've done in this shadow talking chart is that we've taken it one step further and put these numbers that you see in the centers what these numbers are alluding to is the actual hierarchy of which center your mind pays most attention to when it's making a decision 
So it always pays attention to the number one center first, then it moves to the number two and so on. And that's why these numbers seem to be fairly haphazard. You can see the nine there in the throat, the one there in the heart. This is simply showing you the hierarchy of influence that these centers have on your decision making. And thus you can start to identify, begin to notice these aspects that you will hear described in these audios when you're making a decision so you can see the priority order for this person who is a reflector begins with the heart center then it moves to the solar plexus to the spleen to the self center to the ajna center to the sacral center to the root center to the head center and then to the throat center so a very very complex not self shadow setup is typical of every reflector but reflectors are really built to deal with this kind of conditioning just because you might have less centers that are open does not make it any easier for you it simply means that your mind is going to put more priority on the centers that you do have open and they will have more impact on you and if you only have one center open that becomes everything for your shadow mind so a good place to start in terms of listening to this shadow talking chart is simply to listen to the audios in the order that you see these numbers so this person I would recommend start with this number one start with the heart center and to play an audio literally just click on that element so here we'll click on the heart it will begin playing automatically. I have muted it so it doesn't clash with this particular audio. But you can see down the bottom here, you'll see the audio playing as the title, the center, heart center, and below that are the audio controls. So you can stop if you want to nip out for a cup of coffee and digest what you've just heard, come back and then play it again. You can fast forward and rewind just moving your mouse up and down this scroll bar and clearly you can mute the audio as well if you need to. So it's a good idea to go through these orange centers first in your talking chart. Of course, over here, you'll see this introduction. This is simply an introduction to what is holding you back and what the elements are. So if you'd like to start there as well, that's fine too. This is your shadow talking chart. And then you'll see these other sections. These all have an impact on your not self mind but they are at much deeper levels. You'll see here transferred motivation. Well, what this is showing you is the motivation that your mind is using in order to formulate a decision. A decision requires some kind of impetus, some kind of motivation. So as part of this program, not only are your decisions corrupted through the chemistry of your own genes being attracted to the white center dynamics the motivation for that decision is also corrupted so every decision your mind is formulating is based upon your transferred or shadow motivation this is not your true mind motivation this is the motivation that your mind will utilize in order to formulate a not self or shadow decision that is going to take you away from who you are so again listen to that audio and you will hear instructions in that audio as to what to look out for what to notice it's all about noticing these things and the moment you catch yourself thinking in these ways I hope I can prove myself worthy would be a very good signpost as to the shadow in play for this person hope underlying the impetus to prove worth the heart center the moment you hear anything like that coming out of your mouth or in terms of your thinking you know you are on that not self route and stop yourself immediately and of course the only way to stop this insidious conditioning taking over your life is just to take away your mind's authority to decide anything for your life.
If you just never follow your mind for a decision, never allow it the authority to make a decision, well, it can never impact your life. It will still be screaming up there saying, oh, we could prove ourselves worthy by doing this. Oh, there's confrontations coming. Let's avoid that, the solar plexus, and so on. If you ignore all of that and realign yourself to your strategy and inner authority, well, the shadow influence can never impact your life and the point of this shadow talking chart is to give you signposts to watch out for because if we look at this transferred motivation for example yes that is the underlying impetus for the decision but there's further corruption that happens the program actually corrupts how you see life this is what this distracted view is referring to so if you are seeing incorrectly you're motivated incorrectly and then the decision is made upon this not self undefined center hierarchy you can see the level of corruption that your mind is under when it gives you this certainty about the next decision let's do this because the moment you get a because when you are deciding anything the moment you can give a reason why you are deciding anything that is your pure shadow not self mind working in the background giving you those reasons your inner authority will never give you a reason it just moves it's not deciding it's moving it's not weighing up pros and cons, it's just locked into its track and thus everything you meet is part of your fractal and a decision is just a natural movement. It's not a weighing of probabilities and I use that word pointedly because this person is corrupted in how they see. They are looking for what I can probably impact in the environment around me to have a beneficial impact well this person is not meant to be seeing probabilities so the basis of the decision is what you are seeing it's the environment you are in and if your mind's locked in to see in its distracted way well your mind will only pay attention to the information that's coming in through this distracted view so have a good listen to the distracted view after the transfer motivation again it's a signpost you can't do anything about this if you give your mind authority this is what it's locked into but you can sure notice this and remind yourself my mind is not the boss of my life and eventually you begin to see the humor in all of this you will see the way the mind is so helpless in the way it's being pulled along it gives you this illusion that it's so capable but it is absolutely incompetent and incapable of running your life then you will see further detail this not self trajectory this is a further crushing of your movement towards what you think your purpose is because your mind is designed to be on a trajectory of development if it's motivated correctly your trajectory of development will automatically begin to flow through it will always be swinging between this and that but you will automatically begin to align to what is your true self trajectory your mind's true job true purpose is to be an outer authority and if you're on the right trajectory your outer authority will be absolutely unique have enormous value and that value of course can accrue to you as well this is not your mind making decisions this is your mind having unique value for others and of course that value should be rewarded you don't have to give all of this away for free this uniqueness this is part of your purpose to be on the right trajectory and if you say you're a one three your role is to be the investigating martyr well having the right motivation will ensure you're investigating the right thing and with that correct investigation you will be on the right trajectory to bring the absolute unique impact that you are designed to bring as a one three the ultimate path to purpose is written in trajectory. 
And not only will you be motivated correctly, you will be seeing correctly. This person is designed to see possibilities, not probabilities. And if you want to understand your true self elements, well, I would suggest you purchase a variable talking chart because that will give you the true self elements of your self-reflected mind that is here to be that unique outer authority. It will also give you aspects of your body's determination that goes hand in hand with strategy and inner authority, eating correctly, being in the right environment and so on. But none of that's relevant for this shadow talking chart. This is to give you signposts posts about what you're not and what you will become if you allow your mind to make your decisions. Now apart from this not self trajectory you have a couple of other audios in the top half of your chart here this not self mind theme this is a kind of anti-type this is the underlying quality that your mind's trying to avoid through its decisions and of course it has no clue how to make a decision to avoid what is the inverse of the quality that following your true self your type your inner authority will bring you a reflector is here to have a life of surprise and wonder not disappointment well this is a mind fighting to try and avoid disappointment and of course that's a worthy goal however it has no clue how to get there so perversely disappointment will be the underlying theme of this particular mind you also see an audio down here for definition it doesn't really count for a reflector because they don't have any definition definition is simply what is consistent in your design and definition ultimately yields your type and your mind say you have a split definition with a single gate for example example say it was this 11th gate up here well your mind before it even looks at the undefined centers is going to pay a lot of attention to that split because it sees that as its problem I need to be the one that's full of ideas that can educate people with those ideas and if I can prove to other people that my ideas are wonderful well they are going to think that I am worthy and on and on and on it wants to fake this sense of wholeness that is just not there with a split definition and with anything if you focus on what is not meant to be focused on that's going to distort everything your inner authority pays absolutely no attention to whether you have a split definition a triple split a quadruple split but again listen to that audio you will find some useful information in there and then you'll see these four lower sections transpersonal conditioner mental conditioner and so on each one of these has an audio but what these are referring to is further well granularity in how your mind deals with these not self centers this sacral center for example well it's not just not knowing when enough is enough generically your mind is actually looking at every gate in this center and the not knowing when enough is enough is going to be aligned to a particular theme that your mind wants to come across as or focus on so every one of these colored dots are aligned to the audio so this mental conditioner this is what we call a pure not self gate listen to that first that will tell you what a mental conditioner is and then look at this sacral center you'll see that there are three red dots so there are three mental conditioners that this mind is really grappling with as a priority the transpersonal conditioners the blue well these are still a problem for your mind but it's not more the other person's problem the red dots are my problem so this is a mind that never knows when enough caring is enough so this person is just going to give themselves away trying to prove themselves worthy by not knowing when enough caring is enough and running after resources and trying to be the innovative one that you know is always there at the freshness the beginning of anything that's new so again this is your mind taking you a long way off track so it's well worth 
worth going through each of these every one of these gates is between eight and ten minutes of audio but it will tell you exactly this mental conditioner what is the quality of that mental conditioner so that you can see it as a signpost again here I am this person hasn't even asked me and I'm giving them this and that and I'm just giving myself away and ultimately I'm the one who's going to be depleted they're going to take what I've got run away and they won't even look back and say thank you so listen to these four sections first and then you can start listening to these colored dots that are gate audios so for example just click on the red dot you'll see down in the audio section here gate 27 caring it says it's a mental conditioner and that will remind you that it is the red dot and then listen to it another signpost for you to watch out for so there's a lot of information here i hope that you find it very very practical very very useful and above all utilize this information follow this information become aware of the trap that your mind is in begin to notice these things and of course take away your mind's authority to decide anything anyway and you will be firmly on the road to your absolute unique differentiated life and it's only that that will bring you this ultimate fulfillment that we are all seeking so thank you very much indeed this talking chart will always be there in your genetic matrix account and it will make a big difference in your life if you follow it and act on what you hear Bye for now.